The Amazing Digital Circus has been a trendy subject on the internet for quite some time, sparking memes, fan art, um, animations, YouTube shorts, and yes, Rule 34. Which is what got me hooked into the show. The, 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 the trendiness, not the Rule 34. I swear. The show is made by the YouTube channel called Glitch, the same channel that made murder drums and many other popular webtoons. Amazing Digital Circus is a show that follows the story of a woman that put on a VR headset and is stuck in a virtual world with other people that had been trapped there for years. She can't take the VR headset off and has seemingly forgotten everything before putting it on in the first place, so the showrunner Kane decided to give her the name Pomni. In the pilot of the episode, Pomni is looking for an exit, which Kane lied to everyone about not existing. Only for it to be revealed that there isn't a real exit. Kane created the door with nothing in it, because he didn't know what to do. This brings in a lot of questions, such as, 1. How does this place exist in the first place? 2. If Kane doesn't know what the exit is, does that mean he's also trapped? And 3. Is Kane, and by that extension, Bubbles, even human? Or are they just AIs created by the digital circus? All of these are legit questions that will most likely be answered when the show continues. But I want to focus on one major point in the pilot, the character Kane, because I feel like there is something very dark and suspicious about him. When we meet Kane, he's shown to us as this eccentric, psychotic maniac who has no clue what he's doing or saying. But that's only half true. We see that Kane does have multiple moments of sanity and can have normal conversations. Like when he reacted to Bubbles' horrifying actions. Whoa! Clean up on aisle you! I'm on it, boss! Why are you like this? <laughs> what I'm saying is that Kane might have a very dark secret. If he was willing to lie to the gang about a fake exit, who knows what else he's lying about. A while back, I actually saw this um, video that reversed the introduction song of the pilot. And a lot of people found something very intriguing about it. Here, I'll show you. Honestly, the only part of um, that I heard was Abel. I didn't hear the We Miss You, We Miss You part, but a lot of people say that it sounds like we miss you, we miss you, Abel. For the sake of this, let's assume that it is trying to say, we miss you, Abel. In the Bible, there are two sons of Adam and Eve, Cain and Abel. Cain was a farmer and Abel was a shepherd. Both brothers would make offerings to God, but God favored Abel more than Cain, which made Cain jealous. So, in a moment of anger, Cain killed his brother Abel, which caused him to be shunned from his community, and Cain was branded the first murderer. Now, Gooseworks, the creator of the show, has confirmed that she has added multiple Bible references to the show because she thought it was funny, which confirms that there are indeed Bible references in the pilot. To me, this brings me to the theory that our Cain may have killed his brother. I have multiple directions this theory could go. Number one. Cain murdered his brother in jealousy, which caused his parents to shun him and was given a VR headset as punishment. Cain and his brother made a digital circus, but his brother took all the credit, so Cain killed him. 3. Cain and his brother were AIs in a digital circus, and Cain somehow deleted Abel, an action he regretted. And maybe he remade bubble out of Abel's remains. A part of me thinks that the third one is most likely because Cain doesn't seem like he was an actual person trapped in the circus. It seems more like he was an AI created by some program since he never actually mentions himself as human, just that he is the owner of the circus. Which actually brings me to my other theory. What if the digital circus is a prison for certain criminals? That's why Pomni couldn't take off her headset. And Kane is meant to be the warden of the circus. Anyway, that's just my theory. What do you think? Comment down below. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.